Okay, let's talk Gilbert syndrome and fasting because people seriously underestimate this thing. It all starts off with heme. That's the stuff in your red blood cells. When your red blood cells age, heme turns into bilirubin. Here is where it gets just a little bit weird. Fasting or low blood sugar flips your body into backup fuel mode. Normally, your liver handles this like a pro, but if you have Gilbert syndrome, no carbs, no problem. Your body will just burn fat instead. Hello, ketosis. Now, for most people, this could actually be healthy, but for us, people with Gilbert syndrome, this can cause a huge bilirubin flare-up. Wait, why? Here are the two major culprits. Number one is more bilirubin is actually being made. So ketosis and low blood sugar speed up heme breakdown. So more heme breakdown means more bilirubin just kind of floating in your blood system. And number two is less bilirubin is being cleared. So here's the messy part. Your liver needs something called UDP glucuronic acid so that bilirubin can get packaged or conjugated so that it can actually leave your body. No sugar means fewer UDP glucuronic acid or less packages, which is already bad because our conjugation system sucks. <laughs> so missing pieces of like the conjugation, the conjugation process could be really terrible. I believe I go into conjugation on my website. If not, then I'll make a blog post soon. It'll be in the comments if there is one. This is actually why your bilirubin is higher in the morning. Your overnight fast is enough to raise your bilirubin even just a little bit. And as a teenager, I used to skip breakfast to like 1 p.m. and I used to go to bed at like 10 p.m. And that's like, bam, <laughs> enough for my bilirubin to spike. Studies show that 24 to 48 hour fasting is enough to double your bilirubin levels and possibly even more if you're more Gilbert syndrome sensitive. So if you've got Gilbert syndrome, avoid extreme fasting, eat your carbs, and maybe think twice before going full keto or carnivore. Your bilirubin will thank you.